Welcome to this week's Weird Science. You'll need some clear cups or glasses, jelly beans, warm water, and some time. Time for sorting fun. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> And keep sorting. Now that the sorting is done, get your warm water and get ready to cover all the jelly beans with the warm water. It sure is interesting to see how we got a lot of green jelly beans and I guess maybe yellow and orange would be next up. Not that many pink. Interesting what comes into a container. You could have a lot of fun graphing just the number of jelly beans per color. And now that all of them are covered with water, what is your prediction? what will happen with each of the jelly bean cups. And looking at these jelly beans, with only about a minute time has passed, again, what do you predict will happen with just warm water in each of the containers of the jelly beans? Make your prediction. Only a couple of minutes have passed. I'm noticing some white coming off of the jelly beans. I'm not really positive if that's what's supposed to happen, but we should set a timer for an hour and come back and check it again. What's going to happen to these jelly beans? And after 10 minutes, this is what we have. So after 20 minutes, I've noticed that there's quite a bit of like these white floaty things on top of the water. Kind of like a, a waxy appearance. I'm noticing that the jelly beans, for the most part, have turned white. I'm wondering if we do something called agitate. It's kind of like what a washing machine does. Kind of shake it back and forth. So if we agitate the water just slightly, give it a little swirly whirl, if that will help do anything differently to the jelly beans. I'm doing it a little bit gently because I don't want to spill the water. Just seeing. Now, one thing to remember is with that pink, we didn't have very many. And I noticed that they turned white immediately. I'm thinking that the ones on the bottom of, that have a larger amount of jelly beans maybe didn't get the color all off but i could be completely wrong too but definitely a lot of white floating at the top and the waters have all changed the color of the jelly beans all right so i decided further discovery with agitation maybe this time bringing a spoon with me it has been an hour you can see 
The water has changed the color, but as I scoop up the jelly beans, they pretty much have lost their outer color, right? Like the red, look at all those jelly beans. They've all turned pretty much white. Kind of have like a little pink hue to them, but I'm looking at the, oh my goodness. And on the bottom, I can feel on this, it feels pretty mushy, almost like a, a jelly or a jello kind of thing. Let's see, how do we do with the yellow? So I think if more time passes, it will probably become more of a kind of like a gel, but I can still see all the white kind of looks waxy, like I said. So it makes me wonder what happens with a coating of a jelly bean. And this was just with water. Try your own version of liquids and see what you can have happen. And that's it for Weird Science this week, Jelly Bean Science. Make it great and discover the world around you. And here we are, back with checking out 24 hours later, what has happened to our jelly beans. Kind of all in a similar, they feel really mushy with the spoon. Very white in that purple one. And it's interesting because the white on the top is still a floaty kind of substance. Maybe it's a wax that came off of the jelly bean, but I definitely can tell these are more of a jelly substance, which of course, jelly beans. So sitting in the warm water 24 hours later, the color has come off and it's just left with the jelly beans. Was your prediction right? Let me know. So how did your jelly bean experiment go? Did you use just warm water or did you try something else? Let me know on our Instagram page.